That's an question, excellent question. The question is, is, if there are multiple universes and some of them have a different set of rules, physical rules, than other universes, what is the, what is the reason to believe that? Why, why do you okay, let me first back up for a quick moment. When I say different laws of physics, I don't mean some other list. I mean, look at our laws of physics and then make small adjustments to them. Okay, so th that's what I mean by a different, different laws of physics. Um, the multiverse, it turns out, uh, let me back up. In the 1920s, quantum mechanics was invented, discovered, however you want to think scientific advances take place. Quantum mechanics is the study of the small, how particles behave. And we learned that if you get to a small enough scale, you lose the ability to predict with precision the behavior of the system. You can only describe it statistically. And there are ranges of things it can do, and all you can describe is the range of properties that it may have. Well, here's this big grand universe we have described by Einstein's general theory of relativity. But at the Big Bang, the entire universe was the size of an atom. And so you have the need to have the physics of the small, quantum mechanics, marry the physics of the large, general relativity. Because they're occupying the same space, if you will. Now, when you take quantum mechanics and apply it to aspects of the fabric of space on that scale, what you have is a gurgling of the fabric of space-time. In fact, it's been called a quantum foam. This gurgling is because quantum mechanics prevents you from knowing anything with precision about the system. So you can't say, here's a spot on that grid. That spot is this undulating, pulsing foam. And so now, when you look at this foam, applying the laws of quantum mechanics to it, you realize that this fabric it's not limited to one zone or another. In fact, there's a region of the fabric that could hatch out an entire universe with the variations in the laws of physics simply because the conditions that would spawn the laws of physics had variation in them. And so the multiverse is not just some invention out of the ether. It flows out of an application of quantum mechanics to general relativity. We're not completely there yet with a full solution, but it's why it, the idea is taken seriously. It's not just an invention. It flows out of this application, and it has philosophical precedent because we thought we were the only planet? No, there's other planets. Thought we were the only star? No, there's plenty of stars. Thought we were the only galaxy? No, there's a billion. Are we the only universe? Maybe there are multiple universes. So there's historical precedent as well as theoretical uh, foundations for it. Although one could, in conclusion, really wonder why, what, why there would have to be Neil and Robert here, Neil and Robert without hair, Neil and Robert without your tie, Neil and Robert without this mic, <laughs> Neil and Robert without that water, Neil and Robert without your question, Neil and Robert with you, Neil and Robert without you, Neil and Robert with you and him. If there's with an with infinitude of universes, that's a trivial extension of this moment. It seems awfully, awfully, awfully ornate. 